the day we're taking a look at these NCAAF matches, which are happening on Saturday, September 11, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. UNLV vs Arizona State the UNLV defense did not have a spectacular game as they allowed 35 points, 20 in regulation, and allowed 471 total yards of defense, 374 passing, 97 rushing. The biggest factor was a check in the correct box as they allowed 2.9 yards per carry. One of the best factors for the Rebels' defense was the fact that they had three turnovers, two interceptions, one fumble recovery. If the defense can figure out how to step up, they will be in a good spot here. The UNLV defense was horrible last year as it allowed 38 PPG on 482 IPG of total offense. UNLV has 10 starters back from that unit, and they did allow 35 points and 471 yards of total offense. The game went to double OT before UNLV lost, and they did allow just 20 points in regulation. The Rebels allowed 374 yards through the air, but they also picked off three passes, and Eastern Washington missed three FGs. The game should have never gone to OT, and UNLV will not be that lucky in this one, as I would not expect ASU to make many offensive mistakes. My first betting advice is to pick Arizona State minus 34.5. The Arizona State Sun Devils went just 2-2 last year, but with 20 starters back, they are looking to have a big season. The Sun Devils returned 58 of 65 lettermen from last year, including 30 of 31 on the defensive side of the ball. When I did my college previews, I actually picked ASU to win the Pac-12 South, so as you can see, this is a team that I am in love with this year. Now, can they cover a big number against UNLV, especially with a big game against BYU on the road up next? I guess you'll have to keep reading to find out. The Arizona State Sun Devils have been a solid defense when looking at the numbers from last week against the Southern Utah Thunderbirds. The Sun Devils allowed 14 points and just 224 total yards of offense, 146 passing, 78 rushing. Looking at the defense tightening up on third down, they were spectacular as they forced the Thunderbirds to just be 4 for 11 on third down. If they can continue to force just 4.7 yards per pass and four total turnovers, one fumble recovery, three interceptions, this team can be a legit threat. My second betting advice is to pick over 54. Stanford vs Southern California. The Stanford Cardinal has been a decent defensive option in their first game of the season against the Kansas State Wildcats. They were pretty good at getting stops on third down as they were 2-4-7 on third down, and the Wildcats converted their only fourth down attempt. The Cardinal finished allowing 344 total yards, 144 passing, 200 rushing, and they need to figure out how to stop the rushing attack as Kansas State ran for 6.5 yards per carry. If the defense can stand up and improve here, it will really help them be a solid program. Stanford allowed 31.7 PPG on 439 IPG of total offense last year, but they are expecting better results on this side of the ball. The Cardinal has eight starters back from last year, but they also have one of the weakest linebacking core in the Pac-12. Stanford allowed the Wildcats to run for 200 yards in the contest, and that shows the deficiencies they have in the middle of their defense. The secondary played well in allowing just 144 yards passing, and that could be key here, as the Trojans have a vaunted passing attack. Stanford will have a shot at an upset if their pass defense holds up, but they will still need plenty of help from their offense, especially the run game. The Trojans are loaded with a high-power defense and a much-improved defense. Speaking of defense, it showed up big time in their opening 37 home win over San Jose State. USC was favored by 13.5 points in the contest. San Jose State averaged 28.6 page on 431 IPG of total offense, and they have nine starters back from that unit. USC did hold them to seven points and 68 yards rushing, 
but the pass defense, which is considered to be one of the best in the Pac-12, allowed the Spartans to throw for 308 yards. They picked off a couple of passes, which offsets the 308 yards the Trojans gave up. The good news for them here is that they are not facing a good passing offense. My first betting advice is to pick USC-17. The USC Trojans defense has been solid as they gave up 7 points and 376 total yards, 308 passing, 68 rushing. The third down defensive stops were critical as the Spartans went just 3 for 13 on third down and 1 for 2 on fourth down. One of the best signs from the Trojans defensively was the fact that they were able to snag a pair of interceptions in this game as well. If the defense can continue to get the opposing offense off the field as well as they did here, it will do wonders here. If the Cardinal are going to compete for a bold bid this year, the offense will need to improve. Last year, Stanford put up 29.3 ppg, and they have six starters back from that group, but still struggled in the 24-7 loss to Kansas State. Stanford had just 194 yards passing and 39 yards rushing in the contest, Last year's leading rusher, Austin Jones, is back, but he ran for just 25 yards on 9 carries in the contest. Tanner McKee threw for 118 yards and a TD, while Jack West threw for just 76 yards with no TDs and 2 ints. My second betting advice is to pick over 52. Quick reminder, you can get 125% cash back bonus on your first deposit on our partner Sportsbook Bet US after you open an account using our link down below and use our promo code HIGHSTAKES when making your deposit. Hawaii vs Oregon State. On defense, linebacker Darius Muisset is the leading tackler with 12, while defensive back Kari Bethley has 10. Defensive lineman Jonah Lalu is the leader in quarterback sacks with 2.0, and two players have one interception apiece. My first betting advice is to pick Hawaii Rainbow Warriors plus 11. After one game, Oregon State is 89th in the country in team defense, allowing an average of 30.0 points and 401 yards per game. The Beavers are allowing an average of 88.0 yards rushing and 313.0 yards passing per game. The leading tacklers for Oregon State are linebackers Omar Spates with 12 and Avery Roberts with 10. Two players for Oregon State have 0.5 sacks each, and defensive back Jaden Grant has Oregon State's only interception. Hawaii has a talented QB in Chivan Cordero. The sophomore had a promising rookie season, collecting over 2,000 passing yards in nine games. He has been productive so far this season, registering 525 yards with four touchdowns, but has already tossed three picks. My second betting advice is to pick over 61. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.